welcome back to this family adventures i'm lauren i'm gwen and we hope you had a great christmas, christmas. holiday yes we're now into the new year not yet but almost yeah well we don't, don't know, know when this is gonna go up <laughs> but it's after christmas yes yeah, so we're doing uh what we got for christmas. christmas plus we did get some christmas stuff like right at christmas yeah so, so like a couple days it was after we had filmed vlogmas you know so yeah we, and then the way the mail works you know it doesn't always come and then christmas fell on saturday so that kind of threw things off so we got some packages we want to open Maybe what do you want to <laughs> so i was just going to say we met up with carrie um so go Hi, check carrie. out her youtube channel as well um and she was so nice to we'll link it down below to um give us some cute things here um we have a christmas card from her so that's her and a cute family, Skylar and Liam. So that was nice that they gave us a Christmas Sam? card. I had opened that a while ago because she didn't seal the envelope. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, we didn't do anything like that this year. Oh, I was bad. I was. Yeah. I had them. In, I had some cards. Um, all right, so I guess we're opening these. Yeah, so she has two packages here, Gwen and Lauren. And we have this same wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. We'll open them at the same time. Oh, look at that. I just would. You always wanted more <laughs> no pads. Yes, I love my new pads. These look like candy. So we got the large one and the small one. So, I already ripped the plastic on this one. So Carrie works at Legoland, so she always sends us cool merch from there. So we have this small little pocket notebook, which will be great for like my purse with the pickup. Although we have notes everywhere. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> that gets hard. And this one just is yours long? No. Hey, you can doodle. These are cute. Thank you and so then much. this one is Carrie. to cameraman from Carrie Skyler. Oh, I love my new Carrie, books. you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, Carrie. Oh, these are from the Mandalorian. So I, I will, know this guy. This <clears throat> I was gonna say, Funko's doing a new thing with mystery minis. Instead of making them a mystery, they're now just called Funko Minis. And it shows you who you're going to get. This is uh, I Have Spoken. And that's actually played by um, Nick uh, Nolte. Cool. Cool? Yeah. It says on the back. Which I didn't know that. And then that's but, Chicken Man. Yeah. No, this isn't oh. Chicken Man. <laughs> this isn't uh, uh, Moff Gideon. This is... Oh. Uh, Grief, Gark. Yeah, it says on the back. This is the the guild leader yeah, you're for the right. Mandalorian. But it looks like Chicken Man. And I only say that reference to Breaking Bad. Yeah. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you. Skyler and Liam. <laughs> Skyler and Liam. Same. And we met Liam. Yeah. Well, we met Skyler and Liam, but Liam is so cute. Yes. Okay, so next we have a card from our friend Jessica. Um, cute little also a sticker, and then this little iridescent um, Mickey. Mickey sticker. We have the same stickers. A Christmas wish for you. Do you need me to read it? You don't have your glasses. It says so pretty thing though. Then Rita. Gwen, Pops, Lauren, and Richie just wanted to wish my fave YouTube fam a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I would love to thank you guys for all your hard work, not to mention all the joy you guys bring with your videos and lives. Yours truly, Jessica. May your Christmas be filled with blessings, laughter, and love. Thank you so much, yes. Jessica. That's thank so you, Jessica. Nice. I want to the best subscribers. Friends. I call them friends. <laughs> and then this one. like family. Yeah. Is Ka Katrina over in Kentucky. 
Another picture. Oh, look at that. There's something else in here. <clears throat> this is cute. I like what you did with the cats. <laughs> she would love it. <clears throat> it says, oh, what fun. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love the Simpsons. The Kennedys. <laughs> That's, That's cute. cute. <clears throat> it's set. And then she has a little note here. It says, hey, just fan peeps. As you know, through emails and messages on YouTube, I really love your channel. You guys always make me smile and I love the hauls. It looks like you're living your best Disney life. I found another use of our Halloween costumes this year. My husband, Mick, is Homer. I'm Marge. L Lita is Bart. Temptus is Lisa. And Pippa is Maggie. I've, I, also, oh, I always have to include my fur babies. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and a magical day. Love, Katrina. Aww, Thank you so that's much. So cute. Richie's really big into Simpsons right now, even though he doesn't. And cats. And cats. Oh my gosh. Cats. We had a, we had a whole discussion Sesame. yesterday about dogs mm -hmm. and cats. Mm -hmm. He um he's always loved cats, but just recently he's gotten into the Simpsons. But he doesn't watch it. But I'm sure he's seen clips on YouTube. And but he doesn't like watch Yeah, we had a whole discussion on cats, but he understands that we can't really have them because Poppy's allergic. But I he want probably will have cats. He'll be a cat man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, instead of the cat lady, he'll have he'll be the cat man. So one of our fellow friends, Dayla, she sent us a gift. She actually DM'd me on Instagram of some doorbolts. She was like trying to trade and I felt bad. I didn't really have traders at the time. So she just sent them to me as magic mail. So they're all wrapped up here. I forget which ones. It's been a while I've had this package. Because this was before we got like a whole case of them. You'll see them videos coming out. So we have a cute little Sebastian. And then we have Ariel in her blue dress, which I don't think I have this one at the time. Oh, thanks. That was a good catch. Because this one. It's her hair. It's all You don't have that either. Is that that one? No, it's different. Yeah, but, that one she has a frying pan. Yeah. So thank you so much. And I'm going to send you a picture if I haven't already. Of some of the ones because now we have a whole bunch to trade. This was not part of the agreement. <laughs> this is a blind bag of something. Of course. And I don't have this. That's cute. So we have a uh, Disney Domes Pixar of Sully. <coughs> I've never seen these before. I wonder who the chase is. There's seven to collect in the series. Well, we've seen the onward ones but well, the onwards were their own set, because I have oh. some of them. And then we have another Dorables box that she taped closed, because she stuffed it. Because, like I said, at the time. So we have... This one's cute. So I have a small, like, Alice collection behind me. Very and the small. Matt Hatter. Yeah. He was in the Christmas Day Parade. I like him as a character at the parks. Yeah. Then we have the... No, Ogni, Ogni, I forget how to say them, I no but I don't have that one. I, I'm still missing one of them. Then we have, I believe this is Bashful, which I'm super happy about, but it could be Salibi. No, uh, the look on his face looks more like Bashful. And then we have Snow White with her apple. Oof. So yeah, I don't have any of those. I thought I had the Rapunzel, but we don't. And I don't have Mad Hatter. So yeah, thank you so much yes, for thank sending you. me those. I like this. I have Rapunzel. Okay, moving on along. I just cleaned this room too. Yeah, and no, I messed it all up. I was gonna say, <laughs> I think your father cleaned the room. No, no, no I did. Not. Thank you. <laughs> I all right. did all this. Thank you very much. So now it's time for what we got for Christmas. No bragging, no like, oh my god, look what I got. But look what I got. <laughs> yeah, look what I got. So Richie picked this out for me, which I love it. I'm going to have to figure out a way to like tie it. it. Yeah. 
What it's about very on our, fragile, especially what about on like our, um, the, the mic's already starting to come off a little bit. Did yeah. you um put away the No, it's flower? over there in the corner. Or it was in the corner. No, I, it's you moved upstairs. It yeah, because yeah, they're not necessarily have to be cross No. Nah. Well, the, the Skyliner I hung there, and then the Chippendale I put on my Chippendale thing, and that was the only stuff that we had on that one. So, yeah. I do have... I think I have another black hook, like I have my Elliot ornamental, so I might use that, but I think I want to display it over here somewhere because my Monsters Inc. show is like jam-packed to the rim. But yeah, super happy to add this one. This is the 20th anniversary. I did open it from the, the sketchbook thing, and then there's a checklist, and you know me, I love checklists. Oh my goodness. So there's a whole bunch you can get for the anniversary series. And I do want to get, before it goes away, I want to get the Radiator Springs one. Yeah, I thought you were going to get that for him for Christmas. Yeah, but every time I saw it, and I was like, no, I'll wait, I'll wait. But I have the Dalmatians, I have the Fox and the Hound, and now I have Monsters, Inc. So we just need to get cards, and I'm set. The other ones I don't really need. Because the Winnie the Pooh one's cute, but Eeyore's not on it. The Dumbo one's cute too, but I don't need it. <clears throat> I just need the cars one. <laughs> so now what are we getting into? Alright, well, show what you got me. Okay. So, I got a um, red box. So you know. I knew about this. Because she walked in on it. Well, we were. We were there, but you, you were on know. the phone. I walked in, I didn't know it was there, and then as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it, and I was going to get it for her no matter what. But then she was like coming in the door on the phone, and Richie's like, Look what they have! Yeah, because every time I checked on uh, any site, it was always sold out. It's like they, re what was it, Christmas Eve we were there? No. The day before Christmas Eve? No, because that's when we went, it wasn't the same day we went strawberry picking, was it? No. So it was the day before. I got the Jungle Cruise, Jim Shore. Look at this beauty. It's a thick one. I should, um, I take this. What's the name of it? Oh, oh just Jungle Cruise. Thanks. What? Normally they're named some, like, yeah. crazy thing I can't even pronounce. And then this one just Jungle Cruise. It usually describes the moment. <clears throat> so you got Mickey... As a skipper, you got hippo, the hippo and you got a tiger. Thankfully, I don't see any. That makes me even like it more. Yeah, but that's a hefty one. Yeah. And it's solid, too. I'm glad that they didn't skimp out on them because some of them I realized they were, they were hollow inside. It's like they weren't putting them. You could tell it was like mass produced. Oh. I feel like this has a lot of detail in it. Yeah, you got the back side of water. So yeah, we decided that um, my Jungle Cruise little corner back here has to move because it's not big enough. Yeah, so I said either we expand your orange bird and give Jungle Cruise two shelves or we just move Jungle Cruise over here and then it has its own shelf. So that's what she wants to do. We'll have to work on it. And you are working on a video. Yes, video in the process. Um, it's like 80% complete. I just need to order. <clears throat> are you going to put this back in the bag or you can just, you just leave just it out? Put it on the shelf. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, that's what I got. Is that yeah, all I totally you the Disney. I mean, I did well, that's get, all um, she wants to show. Ah. I don't matter. We did get got cool me a, villains. Oh yeah, I got you that. Oh, where's that? At? Downstairs. Get that. Um, I did get two. Lauren also gave me a um Disney gift card, which I already used. That was from Richie. Oh, from Richie. Um, I bought a pair of ears, which now I think we're sharing. So. Well, we don't have to. Um. Since they're. Oh awesome. yes. So they came out with the waffle. Ears. We didn't get the backpack. 
No. Well, we don't use yeah. the back pumps. That's the problem. She wants it's a smell. But. She likes to buy them, but not use them. I stopped buying them because I don't use them. I use the bigger ones. It's supposed to smell. I don't know if I it's supposed it's to butter. smell like it. butter or waffles. It must be butter. Because the butter, the plastic butter on the front of the belt is the only thing that smells. But these are, her, they, well, they are lounge fly. And they do so. have the metal tag there. Now, again, Disney and their bows, they're crooked. Yeah. We had some, and we had to keep looking, looking. And when I just put these on, I noticed they're really crooked. Well, I think some of them, like, you can pull. But... Um, yeah, $39.99. I can get some nice Etsy ears. You stopped buying on Etsy. I know. Well, I haven't stopped. But... Did you get him this shirt? Who? Dad. No. No. Yeah. I was you one I was looking to... at, but then Richie yeah. didn't want to. Or... So, I got this shirt for myself, although, like, or, you know, you did, man, like, didn't I want didn't want to match. match her father. <laughs> We have a few matching shirts because I like men's shirts. But this one was in the <coughs> the outlet for twelve ninety nine, and it's Sarge. I'm not a big Sarge fan, but, but it's a cool shirt. Yeah, Let's see. Because when I was in the outlet today, Character Warehouse, I saw it and I was like, that looks familiar. But I was like, mm, I'll pass it up. Yeah, so you didn't want it anyway. Well, no, I think you liked it. If I would have gotten it, probably okay. better than the pass holder shirt. Did you well, get that? Well, then. Well, then just um, go buy it, Dad. It's fine. Because I, I know he likes that style. <clears throat> yeah. And it's like tie-dye, but not tie-dye. It looks like it was like crumpled <clears throat> up when it was thrown in the dye and just, you know, that's how it came out. I like it. It's not too thin, but it's it's thin enough for a Disney shirt because I've <coughs> just got into a ramble now. Um, She's choking over here. <laughs> we need some water. Um. I now that we're here in Disney, I like thinner shirts. I don't like the 100% cotton. I don't know the. You know when you feel a t-shirt, some are yes. thicker than others. I yes. don't like the thick I shirts totally anymore. Agree. I don't like the thick shirts. Okay, so and then, they did get me this one too. I don't know if you can see it. Do you like that? It's Boba Fett. It's Boba Fett. <laughs> so then this was. It's probably glaring. Glaring is that a word? Richie has this packet he has to do over break, and it's like stumping me. I don't like, I don't know these words. The science packet he's doing. Now I'm making up words over here. Okay, so we have Clue Villains, which I'm super excited. We love Clue. We had a fun time playing Clue recently, and it was, what was What's it? That 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 yeah, so it says... Do you dare to enter the villain's lair? And then you have all the villains here. Evil Queen, Dr. Facilier, Hades, Jafar, Maleficent, and Ursula. And then you have their, like, talisman, potion, shell, scarab? Se I don't know these words. Scarab. Scarab. The... I, <laughs> I can't see. Cut that out. So yeah, it's just a the scepter. Yeah. And the poison apple. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of fun, fun villain things to do. The other clear. thing I wanted to get that they came out with was a Yahtzee game. Wow, they're cool. Go ahead, talk about but your Yahtzee. But I, Lauren's like, you're not buying Yahtzee for what was it? Fifty dollars. Because you, they all had like. Look at her and her voluptuous self. Oh, you these had are four, solid. Four cups. It didn't just click come with one cup. And Lauren's like, I don't even use a cup to play Monopoly. Not or Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> Yahtzee. Yahtzee, yeah. But you the know one the cup was um, a Jungle Cruise. Yeah, they were all different characters. Attractions. Attractions. I don't know. Were they attractions or. I'm probably spending too much time on this, but this is cool. So go buy yourself a. If you like board games. Family game night. So yeah, I'm excited to play this one. And then these are shirts. Richie got this for my dad. 
This is from the Character Warehouse. This was $12.99 too. Um, the Force is Strong with my family. He wanted to get on that. And then my mom picked him out this shirt. This is from this is from Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was like, what's that symbol? He didn't She's like, I don't know. It just said pass holder. I bought it. <laughs> and it was but Star it's Wars. This, it's the symbol for Batu. But now he doesn't really like it. No, you don't like light it, colored shirts. Because I stain them. them. <laughs> I stain well, let's, them. Well, we'll put a bib on you. Yeah, I'm going to have to wear an apron and a bib the whole time I'm wearing it. Okay, so then I'll go with these little guys. I got myself this pin. I need to start going. It was in my stock. So, you know. But look at that thing. I love it so much. I like the color. I like that purple. Putting stuff in my stuff. That's yeah. That's how you get what you want. Yeah, that's how you get what you want. <laughs> look at what I, I bought. I bought, look, I bought myself this. That's why I got it. <laughs> well, I'm going shopping tomorrow. All right, let's yeah, go. <laughs> you got money in the mail today. Let's go. So then Mike got <laughs> these guys. Oops, I just broke Yeah, my, my stocking went a little yeah, bare so this year. It was. Yes, I was. Had it broke lot, it. Had a lot of lottery tickets in it, though. Yeah, Richie wanted to get you one, and I said no because I don't want to put out the money and then they all be losers. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You should like, get a couple good ones, but not, I mean, like, literally making the money back that you spent on it, not like. Yeah. I think the most I've ever won off of a scratch off was $100. And I was like, could believe it. And then this one is Barley. So Mike got Ann and Barley fig pins. Because we didn't have these. And I found these at GameStop. And then Ursula, along with the other villains that came out with this series, I found at Target. You know, they had fig pins at um, Best Buy. Really? Yeah. Any good ones? No, it was just one. Mm, sure and me. it was, um, I think it was a Black Widow one. Yeah. But I was like, Wow, a fig pin. But then Best Buy used to carry stuff like that. Yeah, I said that to Mike too. I said, because well, they I had a whole toy section it. because I said to Richie, I said, well, do you want to go look at the toys? They don't have toys. I said, yes, they do right over there. And he saw the little Lego. He's like, oh, they have Legos. Well, they have a lot of like. Picked over. Yeah, I was going to say, they should yeah, have like Mario merch and mm -hmm. stuff like that. <clears throat> okay. So then my big spend. Actually, I think the other thing was more. Probably. Because I didn't get a discount on it. I got it. This thing is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to her. Let me turn off the ring light. It is. It's putting a nasty glare on. I got this one. Now, I got this. Oops. I just. I'm trying I'm to just... see doesn't look like Ariel to me. So this is a designer collection. So if you read the little pamphlet, the designer Ashley Losada, I don't know how if I'm butchering that, she came up with this design and it's this whole backstory here. Well then I she, guess I shouldn't say that. She grew up watching her and her sister used to play Little Mermaid together and this like there's a whole story on the back. Well you don't care for that either. <clears throat> She's just making excuses. It's it's You're grown on me. At first I don't. I don't like it. But then it's like I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy it. And then I'm I'm gonna um She's gonna fix her up. Yeah. That was my plan. But then it's like more it's the LE, like, do I really wanna do it? So initially my thought was to take off this headpiece because I seen some pictures. But then she doesn't look like a a fancy expensive doll she just looks like a, a regular doll so because it's like I'm looking at her not showing that what I've seen people do is they they've taken this headpiece off which is attached to all these pearls and then they've laid it differently or just removed it completely and then some have even taken it off and this thing in the background's a clip and then they clipped it upside down so it's kind of more of like fanning out down here instead of up at the top but it's like a, a, it's kind of growing on me. I love the box art. Like, I love this part, the castle. I like how this this part looks like sand. 
Like, I think it looks really well done. I'm just not a big fan of these. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I'm scared if I, if I cut the secure things, I'm not going to like how it looks. And then you're stuck. Yes. So I keep, like, going back and forth with, like, what I want to do. Because then, like, some people washed her hair, but, like, I don't want to do that. I want to keep it curly. But, like, I kind of want to, like, unbox her, but then I kind of don't. <laughs> so, if I keep her on the shelf, I kind of would keep her like this. But then it would get covered in dust. So I feel like she's best protected in her case. But the case is hard to display because of the flaps. So I'm... I'm well, can't you I'm back just put the front it. on it? <clears throat> then you still have the top open. Yeah. Because it's like... I could do that. She would have a glare. It wouldn't be as bad. But you'd have the top. It's so, the whole purpose of protecting it from the dust. kind of. Yeah. Or you could lay something over top. I've seen a really cool design of somebody where they're... Um, significant other made on a shelf and it had a light right on top of it so each because there's um so far there's been um three yeah pocahontas. there's pocahontas jasmine and ariel and each one has it like this one's blue the jasmine's red and pocahontas i think it's like a goldish so the light just like magnifies that color and i think it looks really cool which almost looks like oh my god i need all three of them because of this picture i'm seeing but I don't. The next one that's to come out is Milan, but I kind of want to stay away from this because I don't collect the 12 inch dolls. I only collect the 17 inch. The only other princess that I would want from if they make one would be Belle for the next anniversary. So kind of waiting. Well, the 30th anniversary, but they're every anniversary they try to make it. Oh, I shouldn't say try. It seems on anniversary marks they make a doll. Like Tiana, she came out the 10th. Um, Esmeralda, the 25th. Ariel came out for the 30th. You see what I'm talking right. about? Well, then Belle should have came oh. out. Oh, you keep putting up there. You know what you're talking about. <laughs> but Belle's anniversary is going on now. Yeah, I know. But there's like rumor of next year dolls, like what they think is going to come out. He's going to take a picture and insert that. I'm going to turn this back on. And then you'll see some clip of yeah, my so doll. So like... <clears throat> so that's what Lauren keeps putting at. Yeah, so like Esmeralda, Tiana, and Ariel. As you notice, they're all... They're a different shape box than the other ones. And that's because they're the newer ones. So, as the newer ones are coming out, they're coming out for the doll's anniversary. And all the dolls that I have, I paid retail price for, so I refuse to pay a markup. Okay, so what I was saying is, um, you'll see with the clip, um, all the dolls I have, I've paid retail for, because I refuse to pay overpriced for dolls. Like, some of those dolls are worth too much, like, I don't even want to say. Like, I would never buy some of them if I didn't already have them because they're, they're way too much. Like, that's what she's college fun. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> back to what we got for Christmas. I got this. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I've been wanting this for a really long time since we arrived here. Um... Me and Mike went to Universal the day after Christmas, and this was my Christmas present from him. So I got the replica of Hagrid's umbrella wand, which is from Noble Collection. Long story short, I said I wanted to collect wands. Here, they do not make non-interactive wands anymore. They're all in interactive wands. I don't like that. So I got really upset about it. And then they're like, well, if you buy a gift card for $295, you're eligible for a free non-interactive wand. And I'm like, okay, well, if that's the only way I can get it, that's what I did. 
And then I used the gift card to buy, basically pay for our day at the park. We got lunch and I got all these fun things. And I bought my mom some cookies. So what's oh, the, I forgot about them. What's the difference between, like, it just has the little glass tip at the front? Mm-hmm. Which you don't like. Because mm -mm. it makes it not look like, yeah. you don't see them in the movie with a little tip. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want the real thing. So... This is Hagrid's umbrella. Now, it's a function. Don't you dare open that up no, inside. I won't. Jeez. But, like, oh, I'm not going to open it all the way. I feel like it's not really an umbrella. It would be more of, like, a sun protector. You know what I mean? A parasol? Yeah, thank you. A parasol. Just because of the size of it. And it's... I don't feel like rain would... I don't feel like it's an actual umbrella material. But I'm super excited to have this. So what are you going to do with it? Display um, what the rest of her wants. Yeah. Where? I'll give you rat tails. Or pigtail. <laughs> do you even know what that's mm -hmm. from? <laughs> I was like, he gives them the rat tail. And Mike's like, no, it's a pigtail. But then all I kept thinking of, he was like, Oh, we'll threaten them and give them some ears to go with that tail of his. But it's like, does he ever, like, does the tail ever disappear? They never bring it up ever again. Uh, so in the first movie, Hagrid gives um, Dudley uh, a tail for eating Harry's cake. Oh. Uh, he makes him a cake, and then Dudley's in the corner eating it. <clears throat> So yeah, this was $127 with tax. It's a little pricey, but it is noble collection. But, side note, which I'm super upset about, inside of this was a little pamphlet of all the things the noble collection has. So, you know, on the way home from Universal because of traffic, I got on my phone, went online. You can buy this exact same thing from noblecollection.com for $59. So do not buy it from Universal. Wow. Really? Yeah. I learned the hard way. Return it. But Mike's like, oh, will you have it now? I don't know. But I don't think that's fair. But we also found that out with one of the presents I got Richie for Christmas. I found it on Amazon for $24. They were selling it in the park for $70. 78, wasn't it? I don't know. It was like, it was like a Jurassic Park character action figure thing. So, that was they really mm -hmm. So, we went to Alabanders. Because Mike wanted this wand. But he wanted the interactive wand. I can't stand them. Yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> So he got Sirius Black, which I do think it is a cool one. Yeah, it is pretty neat. I like how it's just engraved and not all. Who do we have? We have our time. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even in the box. I don't know where it is. Well, I had it. It's probably in one of my boxes because I had it displayed up on the wall. So then I had to get Bellatrix because we were talking to the cashier because this was when we bought the gift card. And she was like, well, I know Bellatrix is in, off in the in non-interactive ones and I really wanted Bellatrix. But I'm just disappointed. And it's super lightweight compared to the other one. Like the non-interactive versus the Well, I thought you said she bought the gift card to get the... I did. I'm not there yet. Oh. <laughs> so we got this. And then these all retail for $59. Let's check. And then they come with the map. Although Mike's didn't. So he must have had one that was already like opened and looked at. And it tells you. And I compared them. I compared this to your Harry Potter map. Because we got that years ago. Same exact map. Like, you'd think they would add things. Yeah. Especially because the motorbike ride's new. I feel like there's newer things. So, I'm happy well, to have Well, they got rid of one. the Duel and Dragons, right? Or they still have one dragon? 
Oh, I, I don't know. It's too overwhelming for me in there. Like, I love... Yeah, it's not in there right now. I love the one side better than the other. Like, I like Diagon Alley better than Hogsmeade. And I also like eating at the Leaf Cauldron because the fish and chips are really good. But, tip, this video is, I'm sorry, um, a little tip if you go to Universal. You can ask for a free glass of water or a free cup of water at the places, but they don't sell muggle drinks, so you cannot get soda. So if you go to Universal, I recommend buying the cup that you can refill in stations all day long. It's, I think, like 15 bucks. It's a good deal. And then just fill that up right outside of Harry Potter before you walk in, because then if you sit down and eat anywhere, you have to get, like, pumpkin juice or butter beer. That's not good, though. Yeah, so... To eat with. Yeah, so I always ask for the free water. But if you don't say the free water, they'll give you Gilly's water, which is in a bottle, and you have to pay, like, $6 for it. So we'll sign up. So this one was my free one that I picked. There was a whole bunch. $298. <clears throat> yeah. This, um, there was a whole bunch of them, actually. And Mike got a hat, and he got a lanyard and a pouch, because I was like, we need that for... Anyways, that's another story for another day. Well, maybe make a Universal Tips and Tricks video. Um, they had a whole bunch when they showed me. And I was like, I really like the Death Eater one. But then the lady was like, well, this one, which is Professor Slughorn's, was the only one that's not available as an interactive one. So the only way to get this one is by getting the gift card of the minimum of two ninety five, but I just think it's really cool. And who's Slughorn is the um, from what movie does he show up in the fifth or the sixth? I guess the fifth, maybe. He's not Willow, is he? The dwarf? No, 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 no. That's Flitwick. He um he's Transfigurate right now. Um, no, Slughorn is, he teaches potions. Oh. Oh, the befuddled guy a little bit. Well, he's the one who was hiding something from Harry, and they had to go back no, in his I'm memory? No, I'm mixing him up. Okay, never mind. Yes, 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 that's him. The older... But does he teach potions? Yeah, he teaches potions, yes. Yeah, because he knows Voldemort. Yeah. Yeah, that, this is his one, because it's the top of a slug. But I just thought it was a cool one, and since it's the only way to get it, this is the one I started with. So my official non-interactive wands, I have Slughorn and Hermione's. And Hagrid's. And Hagrid's. But Hagrid's isn't like... Like, I like this whole thing. Like, Hagrid's is just... It's like, I feel like it's going to turn into, like, my Mary Poppins. Yeah. And just a side note, we were walking through Hogmeade, and you saw it in the yeah. display, and you immediately stopped. Yeah. It was like, I want that. And I got it. Um, side note, also, Hogsmeade is the only place you can get Haggard Twan. They do not sell it in Universal Studios, um, Florida. You have to get it from Islands of Adventure. But that's how you can tell interactive versus interactive. Or non-interactive is plain, and then the gold effect is the interactive ones. That was a long video, so I apologize, but... <clears throat> as I just got said. Stuff. Oh yeah, we got more! I just love these ones. So, my parents got this one, P Pictopia. I see Robin Hood on the back. This is the ultimate picture trivia family game night. Or family game. I added night into that. So I'll have to try it out. Yeah. That should be fun. I figured even maybe for when we do well, yeah, we do trivia for Yeah, but our it's pictures. Show. Why can't you hold it up to the camera? Mm. And I then guess. for the Costco shoppers out there, these are paper 3D puzzles. And I saw this, and Richie really likes the sand crawler. And it comes with the Mandalorian ship. Well, Richie also thought it was a real toy. Yeah, he thought it was paper. a real toy. 
There is a real but toy it's... in Hollywood Studios. So, yeah, he wasn't, I don't think so. I'm too thrilled about it, but... I think once, once he starts Poppy. building, once he starts building it, I think he'd get think into it. But the display looks so awesome that I had to get myself this because that actually the display I think it comes out to it's a pretty big piece. Does, I mean, it's like it's like two feet stand? long. Oh my goodness! Man. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'll be hanging right from the top of her bed. <laughs> <laughs> that way, the, the with the feds twirled around, it looked like it's flying. Oh my God! Mental. Right, help me, right help next, me. right next to my Jedi Starfighter. Yeah, there's another one that's already built downstairs. Yeah, my X-wing. Yeah. So yeah, that was our fun. What we got for Christmas? Oh. Thank you guys for sending us stuff. We really yes, enjoyed it. You. We hope you had a great Christmas and got everything you want it and if you didn't go buy it <laughs> yeah, just be like lauren go buy yourself so i'm going to start doing tomorrow i'm going to go shopping for myself yes and also um i'm not sure if you're watching but actually grab her um sent us a gift card and this is what i got so i bought myself this ring from sugar boo and i bought a <laughs> candle so thank you for yes that. thank you <laughs> the first non-disney thing i bought for <laughs> harry potter so, so is that it? Yes. Okay. An hour later. Thank you for watching. watching. Please like, comment, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.